Hi, I'm Norma Bradley, and I'm telling my quilt story at the historic Smith McDowell House in Asheville, North Carolina. So this is a small quilt with a big story. It's a very personal quilt. And it, uh, it's a story of friendship and loss and celebration. Um, I made this quilt in honor of a colleague and a friend of mine who um, was in school with me when I was studying interior design. And um, we lost him to AIDS very early on. The quilt is about 22 years old and he died a couple of years before that, actually, many years before that. Um, we were both designers. We loved to tour Manhattan. We loved architecture and beautiful design and gorgeous fabrics. So these are all hand-dyed fabrics. Uh, Jim Mango loved gardening, so the quilt had to have a garden in it. And I've used many different techniques. All the fabrics are hand dyed, except for this little piece here, because I, I just, as a designer, I just felt it needed that in the border to contain the garden. So we have applique, reverse applique, um, machine stitching, and these are all hand cuts. I don't plan my quilts. I just have fabric stacked up and just go into the studio and start picking and seeing what happens. I set up a dialogue with the fabric, basically, and the shapes. And so I just, um, just started cutting and appliquing and layering. And um, there's a lot of satin stitch going around and free motion stitching. The whole quilt is free motion stitched. So there's a lot happening here and it holds a lot of wonderful energy and memory and um, celebration of his life and our friendship. Thank you.